Hi, I'm Robin Sweeney, and I'm the product manager for the quality control instruments at Unchain Labs. In this video, I'm going to show you Hound, our QC instrument for particle identification. USP 790 requires the visual inspection of injectable drugs to ensure that they are substantially free of visible particles. Particles spotted after a drug has been shipped can lead to costly and highly visible product recalls. Hound identifies sources of contamination early in the manufacturing process so that you can avoid this worst case scenario. When a particle shows up, your first two questions are what is it and where did it come from? There are instruments out there that might identify a subset of contaminants, but only Hound identifies any particle from any source by combining multiple detection and identification tools in a single instrument. Let's walk through an example. In this vial, we see three particles. Let's use Hound to identify the particles and their sources. Let's get started with three simple ways to prep your particles. If the particle is large enough, you can just pluck it out of the vial and place it on the filter round. If the particle doesn't appear to be very solid, I can pipette it out of solution to keep it in suspension during identification. If I have several particles or I just can't grab them, I can pour the entire sample through this filter round. That way, all of the particles are captured on the membrane. I place a filter round into the sample mount, then I slide it into the stage. Hound can hold up to four filter rounds or a standard microscope slide. I'll use the joystick to move it under the microscope, navigate, and adjust focus. Since I only have a few particles, I'm going to use the manual identify application, but keep in mind that Hound has an automated mode so you can analyze hundreds or even thousands of particles at a time. With the built-in camera, I'm going to take a few images of the particle in both bright field and dark field mode. In the case of my first particle, I'm going to use some intuition that the sheen I saw in the vial makes it more likely to be a metal particle. Based on this, I'll use our laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy, or LIBS laser, for identification. There are no settings, just a one second shot with this laser, and I should have a match. I can click on exactly where in the particle I want to try to ID. The LIBS laser is a lot of fun to shoot, actually. It ablates a small amount of the surface, which gives you the satisfaction of creating a small crater like this one here. In this case, the particle is made of iron. The instrument identifies the material and provides a match rank out of 1000, which is the strength of the correlation between my particle spectrum and the database. Moving over to the next particle, I'm going to increase the magnification further and use the 785 nanometer Raman laser to try to identify it. I will start with low laser power and low exposure time to see if I can get a measurement. I get a match of high density polyethylene. I'll repeat this with the third particle. Starting with the 785 nanometer Raman laser, not only is there no match, but if I look at the spectrum, it's just noise. So what I'll try is to use the 532 nanometer Raman laser. With this, I can see I have a match of cellulose. Let's make this even more specific. We just found a cellulose particle, but cellulose can come from a variety of sources. 
not just paper towels, but Kim wipes, clothing, and many other places. What's cool though, is that each of these has a unique ramen signature. So I can generate a reference spectra for each material. Hound searches for unique peaks to distinguish similar materials. Look at these two types of cellulose as an example. One type of cellulose has a unique peak at 821 wave number, but the other has a unique peak at 2909 wave number. Hound automatically distinguishes between these two types of cellulose by identifying these unique peaks. This feature makes my ID more specific to my process so I can trace particles back to their source faster. With the two lasers, I have better flexibility because materials have different signal efficiencies at different wavelengths. 785 nanometer ramen is versatile for a wide range of materials. 532 nanometer ramen is great for those trickier materials that have a weaker ramen signal. Combined, dual ramen and libs gives me the flexibility I need to identify particles that are often completely unknown before analysis. To summarize, Hound is your first line of defense when rogue particles are found in your process. With microscopy and three detection methods, Hound identifies unknown particles, whether they're metals, fibers, proteins, or anything else. Knowing what your particle is and where it came from are the first crucial steps to eliminate contamination in your manufacturing process. I hope you learned a lot about Hound today and thank you for tuning in. For more information, please visit unchainlabs.com.